Hi, this is Pastor Steve Yelly coming to you again from the Evangelical Free Church here in beautiful, sunny springtime Des Plaines, Illinois. I'm glad you could join me again for this video. And I want to invite you to join our live stream worship event again this Sunday at 1045 a.m. on the YouTube Live Evangelical Free Church of Des Plaines channel. I'm so looking forward to this Sunday. The title of the message is True Leadership from that great passage in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Pastor John C. Maxwell is one of my favorite writers on leadership, has been for many years, and he makes this what I think is a valuable observation. I quote now, if you want to be the best leader you can possibly be, no matter how much or how little natural leadership talent you possess, you need to become a serving leader. That's John C. Maxwell said that. I think he's right on. I think it's excellent. True leadership is servant leadership. And the section of Philippians we're looking at this coming Sunday is, I think, the best passage on leadership in the entire Bible and probably the entire world. In this passage, Philippians 2, 5 to 11, Paul describes how Jesus Christ gave us the perfect model for leadership when he left all the glory of heaven to become a man, to be born of a helpless baby in the Virgin Mary and then live a perfect life for us as the perfect example for not every only every man but every person who ever lives on earth Jesus is our example he's the perfect example of what true leadership really is and I can't wait for us to get together and for me to be able to share what this passage is all about with you and I believe if we take time to study and most importantly, apply what we learn from our study of Philippians 2. If we apply that to our lives, I'm absolutely convinced. Our individual lives, our families, our churches, and even our entire community can be changed for the better by following Jesus' example of true servant leadership. So I hope you can join me this Sunday 10.45 a.m. live worship. We don't record it in advance and polish it and fine-tune it, which is just fine, but you get it live and raw and unedited, the real deal uh, from us on YouTube Live this Sunday, 10.45. And of course, they're saved, so you can go back and look at them, but this is not some slick Hollywood production. This is just real people who are trying to follow Jesus the best they can. That's what we want to share with you and that's our church. And I'm also excited to share with you that on Sunday, June 7th at 1045, we are resuming public worship once again. Everybody is welcome to come and, and we're ready for you. We've had people here multiple days this week cleaning, doing all kinds of stuff throughout the whole building to make our building safe and a clean and beautiful place for you to come worship. We've switched over our, de our decor, which you'll see on Sunday on the video, to a beautiful spring decor. We have really talented people who change the look of our sanctuary with the season. I, th I think that is so neat that our, our look of our sanctuary changes with every changing season. And, and I just think uh, we've got some great people here with great talent. And, and so on Sunday, June 7th, the first Sunday in June, we're resuming public worship once again. And ever since March, we've been not being able to have that, but I'm so glad we can do this again. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. We've changed the seating in our sanctuary to give you a proper social distancing, actually a little bit more than what the CDC requires. It's going to be great. I think you're going to love it. And we're also, though, we ask you to wear a mask, a face mask when you come. And we're going to be using an infrared thermometer to check your temperature. So we don't want to let anyone in the building that is showing active signs of being ill. Now, we recognize that with this virus, there are lots of people probably walking around that don't even know they have it. Obviously, we have no control over that. They're asymptomatic. It's just the world we live in. 
but we're taking every possible human precaution following CDC guidelines and and we've got hand sanitizer. So, but we invite you to come worship with us on Sunday, June 7th, live in person now. And if you are from around the country, of course, we are going to try to continue doing live streaming. I've been ordering equipment to change how we do that so we can incorporate that with our live regular worship uh, congregation and service. And so hopefully we'll get that up and running for June 7th, but it's the regular live streaming this Sunday, May 31st, just like we've been doing. Praise God, it's been working great. And uh, But we hope to also continue live streaming uh, down the road. And uh, so we thank God that we have the uh, opportunity to do that. So thank you so much for watching this. God bless you. Tell your friends, share the link to our broadcast with your friends. That's wonderful. And even after it's over, if the message touched you and helped you, please share the link for YouTube or the audio version is on SoundCloud. And we love it when you share that link as well and people can download it to their phone and listen to it anywhere. And uh, uh, we'd love to have you do that. Thanks for watching. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you, those of you in the area on June 7th, but everybody else, we can see you by video. We look forward to that. God bless you.